Hello everyone, I was a high school tree intern this summer at the Duke Lemur Center in Durham, North Carolina. And for my research project, I did the reaction of Prolificus cockerel and lemur cata to video playback. Some of these pictures you will see in the video are mine. The rest are from the photographer at the center, David Herring. So the overview for my project is that I tested two different types of lemurs to see if they would notice the video and how they would react to a troop of lemur cata calling, stink fighting, and mating calls. I tested four different groups, one free, one free ranging group of lemur cata and shafak, and one group of non free ranging lemur cata and shafak. I used an iPad to play the video to the lemurs with the sound on. Every group saw the same exact video with the volume all the way up. The free ranging lemurs have access to their inside enclosures, outside enclosures, and to the forest. While the non free ranging lemurs only have access to their inside and outside enclosures. Every group saw about a three minute video, so I took the highlights and the main points out of the video, and this is what you'll see. So group one is my non free ranging cata. We have Sierra and Miss Inversities. Sierra is seven years old and Versities is eleven. Um the way you can tell these two apart is Sierra has two different color eyes, whereas Versities has the yellow eye. Um and Sierra has a taper tail, Versities does not. They are currently located in OR1 off of the main building. When it is cold outside, they are in B Wink in Osceola. And here's how they reacted to the video. So, from this video, we saw curiosity from Versities causing him to come out of the nest box to the pole where the iPad was located. Sierra Miss followed soon after and began scent marking the tree closest to the iPad. After she finished, Versities scent marked over her, and then Sierra Miss went back onto the nest box and began calling and looking around her. Group 2 is my free ranging lemur cata. Um, they are located in the C wing of Otiala and Free Range out in NHE 9. Stuart is three years old and has a black collar. Willow is one and has a base tail shave. Lulu is Willow's twin and has a mid tail shave. Jones is three and has an orange collar. And Izzy is his twin and has no um, tail shave or no collar. And then Sprite has a short tail and she's 14 years old and also the alpha female in the group. I unfortunately did not get a video of these guys, but I did get a picture of one of them looking at the iPad. So for their reactions, everyone in this group was very curious of the iPad and came to inspect it. When they came to inspect it, they formed a circle around the iPad and began looking down at it, trying to figure out what it was. Once hearing the sound, they began looking around, trying to find the source of the noise. And then once they heard a call from the video, they all jumped away from the iPad and then jumped into trees near them. 
Group 3 is my non-free-ranging Shafak, Bertha and Tiberius. They're located in the E-Wing of Miaro. Bertha is 4 years old and Tiberius is 27 years old. So for this group, um, both Siberius and Bertha were interested in the video. The first time I put the iPad in with them, I did not record it. Um, but during that time, Tiberius was the one mainly interested. Um, he was mainly interested in the Saran Wrap and didn't really notice what was on the screen and didn't really pay attention to it. Um, but Bertha was the most curious out of the two every time I put the iPad in consecutively. Um, and she seemed to notice the video, and in the last video, she did get spooked a little bit from it. Um, and then Bertha did make some small vocalizations at one point. Group 4 is my free-ranging Shafak. Julian is 22 years old and has green eyes. Drusilla is the alpha female. She is 22 years old. Arcadia is 4 years old and has an orange collar. Pontius is two years old, and Amelia is one years old and has a tip tail shave. So everyone did show a little interest in the video, but not some as long as others. Um, some of them did get bored after the video after a while and either didn't pay attention anymore or they decided to leave as you saw one of them did leave. Um, nobody made any sounds or vocalizations. So in conclusion, after doing this study, I found that the Shifak were the most interested and seemed to notice what was on the screen more than the Kata. While some of the cattle were interested in the video, I don't believe most of them actually noticed the video on the screen. Thank you for watching my research presentation.